Kentucky teens, many wearing Make America Great Again hats, appearing to confront and stare down Native American elder and Vietnam War veteran Nathan Phillips. New footage showing there were other tensions before that incident. Do you feel from this experience that you owe anybody an apology? Do you see your own fault in any way? I don't blame the kid, the smirking kid. I blame lead poisoning. <laughs> And bad parenting, and oh yeah, I blame that fucking kid. What a little <laughs> smirk face. Everyone that sees that smug look wants to punch that kid, right? I even saw conservative people online when the first video, they were like, "Look at that face! You want to punch that face?" Because he does, and it's not that Trump or not. That's, he just looks like an asshole. There's something aggressive about standing there. Something aggressive about standing there. The conflict has caught the president's attention. He tweeted that Sandman and his classmates were treated unfairly and have become symbols of fake news. Sandman says he's appreciative of the president's tweets, but all the attention has taken a toll. What's this been like for you and for your family? It's been terrible. People have threatened our lives. What some people see is a young kid with a smirk on his face. Mm -hmm. What would you say for people who see that and are making a judgment about who you are. Well, people have judged me based off one expression, which I wasn't smirking, but people have assumed that's what I have. And they've gone from there to titling me and labeling me as a racist person, someone that's disrespectful to adults, which they've had to assume so many things to get there without consulting anyone that can give them the opposite story. Uh, that 16 year old whose who's face and, and that expression uh -huh. that he made for a lot of folks became a symbol of a lot of, lot of different things. It was good to hear from him yes. for the first time since Great. we had heard from Mr. Phelps. Well, so it'll be good to hear from Mr. Phelps. You actually have video, so people yes. are right. certainly free to make their own judgments about yes. what they mm -hmm. think happened there. Immediately people are like, this is the narrative, this is the story. And then it becomes this thing of like, oh, these kids, they harassed this man and this, you know, this is this horrible story. And then you see, you see the, the, the additional videos come out. And I go, if I was the news, I'm like, you guys, surely you guys could have just searched on social media before reporting the story. Just a simple search, just search, you would have found it all. People that are supposed to be adults were saying things like, this is the face of white patriarchy, the 16 year old kid. Or what Reza this, Aslan said. Yeah, or Reza Aslan said, have you ever, have seen, ever seen a more, more punchable yeah. face? Kathy Griffin was saying, I need names, shame him, dox him. How do these people not understand the implications of that? We just instantly say that's what it is based on what we see in that moment and then have to walk stuff back when it turns out we're wrong. Why is that? Why is, do we keep making the same mistake? Because we're, we're desperate to get Trump out of office. <laughs> that's why.